Now I want to bring in the uh, managing director of the Bonson Group, David Bonson. And David, uh, consensus on Wall Street is that there's going to be no recession. But I want to bring up that we've actually heard that before. I want to go back to a headline from Business Week. This is in uh, 2007. They asked 54 economists, economic forecasters about recession. Only two said yes. Of course, we go to the next year and there was a recession. Uh, let's bring it to today. The, 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 I know you're strongly in a no camp. In fact, uh, you made some pretty strong statements about it not even pr really being a fair economic question, right? Well, my view is not that we're not going to have a recession. It's that we're not going to be able to know when it comes or how deep it will be or how much is already priced in the markets. Therefore, it's not actionable to investors. And I also say with 100 percent certainty that there will be a recession sometime in the future. <laughs> it's just that that's not what people... That's not what people are going for. They want to know when and what it looks like. And everybody is guessing and throwing things out there that are utterly worthless for investors. As you point out, economists, by the way, didn't just miss recessions. They also forecast recessions all the time that don't happen. And you know who does that even more than economists? The media. <laughs> yeah, you got to have something to talk about. All right. So let's talk about something that is going on that's not for debate, and that's inflation, right? There's a survey out there. There's a bunch of them. But this one is really intriguing, how families are adjusting their budgets. 65% have said they've changed the type of foods that they've bought here. Fewer fruits, fewer vegetables. 64% are changing the brands. You know, they're going for those generic store brands. 45%, David, 45% said they've used a food bank. 45% the parents say, hey, we skipped a meal so our kids could eat. And you know what? Some families didn't have that option. Where the entire family, 9% have had to skip a meal. When you see something like this, what does it say about the economy? And how does it manifest itself in the stock market? Well, I think the second question is totally different because this is a great example of where the actual economy and the stock market are not really all that correlated. Markets are just discounted flows of earnings, and thus far, earnings are actually up on the year. What you have going on the stock market is a revaluation of overexpensive, overpriced stuff. But when you talk about the real economy, I don't know the, the specifics as to how the survey was formulated, how reliable, how representative. But those things are obviously really awful to hear. Mm -hmm. And I think that what you see in food and energy are the elements that nobody can get around. You have to have it. And then that's where we see price impact. And in both cases, on the supply side of the economy, I think it can be resolved. I do not think the Fed can get gas prices down. I don't think the Fed can get food prices down. I think this is going to have to come from supply side productive resolution. But if it was imminent recession, Charles, we'd be seeing it in wages and jobs. Right. We're not seeing it there yet at all. Let me ask you about dividends. Uh, listen, you're, you're killing it. Uh, everyone wants in now, right? The, the inflows have been yeah. mind boggling. The, the returns have been mind boggling. Uh, should people all now stay the course? You know, should dividends be a bigger part of everyone's portfolio? Yes, they should. And that's not because it's about to be the hot dot again this month or next quarter. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. People should be investing in dividend growing companies all the time because they are an evergreen solution to that permanent risk reward trade off. They provide great returns over time. You don't get these huge bubbles up and you don't get these huge destructive blow ups down. That's what a lot of people are living through now. So my answer is yes, they should be buying cash flow generative investments of high quality. And, and that's what we do. I don't want people coming in to rent the space for a few months. Right. If people think let's buy it because it just got done going up, then my advice is stay away. Me and my clients will keep doing what we're doing, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean. Uh, and by the way, congratulations. Hey, David, talk to you again real soon. Always appreciate it. Thanks, Charles.